big conversation going on, and this one is about the first twin panda cubs to be born in the United States, formerly known as Cub A and Cub B. Now they have names, Mei Loon and Mei Huan. They turned 100 days old on Tuesday, and I never thought I'd have the chance to say this, but our own cub reporter, Sean Calums, oh, has been uh, covering them down in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> and this has been a fun story for and you. And it's also your say, so to speak, because the public had an opportunity to go in and vote. There were five sets of names. Those things are adorable. You know. oh, absolutely. Is there anything better than one panda? Two pandas. Of course. So we got a chance to look at it up close, and I want to take you back to see those pandas again. We had a chance to spend some time with the vet as well as the nursery superintendent. We're going to use their words and photographer Andrew Smith's pictures. 10.4? 12, 13. You see, this hasn't changed much. Four. It's certainly a fascinating job. Their teeth are just about to come out. You know, one of the highlights of my career, of course, is working with the giant pandas. Everybody wants me to take them home. <laughs> Or they want me to let them come back here and see them. This is Cup A. I was luckily called in to um, assist with the, the nursery because we have to be on 24-hour care with them. We were really surprised when we found out they were twins. We didn't know that until birth. In China, they have worked with twins. They are very experienced doing this. But this is the first time in the United States that twins have been raised, uh, have survived. So it's been, we've been very fortunate. Everything sounds great. They are very healthy. They're doing well. They're growing very well. So developmentally, they've hit every landmark as we expected. We are hoping that later this fall, hopefully by the end of November, they'll be able to make their debut. Once they're able to walk on their own, they will be able to go outside with Lun Lun. <laughs> She's going to sleep. <laughs> She's always been perfect. I've been amazed at how well Loon Loon adjusted to us taking the cubs from her when we needed to swap or um, do a vet check on them. She did great. She did what every panda mom does. The one thing is that she paid attention to just one of them. She cannot really care for both. That's why we had to intervene and help in the rearing process. That's 20. We have been getting weekly measurements to document their growth. And this data is going to help greatly, not only us, but the community, the giant panda community. We've come together to work uh, with our Chinese colleagues and raising these panda cubs. It has been, it has been a great adventure. At 1.3, even bigger. I do always have to remind myself what a special opportunity it is. They're very sharp, so we have to be careful. You know, not many people in the world get to touch one, let alone uh, actually care for one. So. Um, it is wonderful, wonderful experience. 34, who's well, been a few weeks since I measured. Right? I'm like, let me double check these numbers. They've gotten so big. <laughs> they, they certainly are cute. Did you get to pet them, touch them? No, we got about this close, but they're very susceptible to diseases from domestic mm. animals, cats and dogs. So we obeyed the rules and fought the urge. Yeah, but you got as close as anybody. Thanks Indeed. so much, Sean.